So I sometimes tell people that, that for me, this is a little bit like being an eco-tourist in a miniature Alice in Wonderland. Because I, I just look at this and I just think it's a wonderful nature walk, even before you do any, any other type of research on the system. Well, there are different ways of looking at these microbes by light microscopy. We have, with this microscope, the capacity to do dark field microscopy, where cells will appear white or be outlined in white with a dark background. We can do phase contrast microscopy, where cells or edges of cells will be dark on a gray background. We can do regular light microscopy, where you don't see much of anything unless the sample is colored, but you'll get the real uh, the real color of the sample. So if your sample is green or red, you may actually see that in the cells. We also have the capacity to do something called DIC microscopy, so difference interference contrast, which as opposed to giving you contrast in terms of either white and black or, or sort of dark uh, and gray, uh, it gives you more of a lunar landscape type of edge contrast in the sense of you look at the moon with binoculars and it's all gray but you will when you have focus it you'll start to see edges very nicely so I've set this right now to look at the sample using this DIC what that does is it gives you surface textures of cells and internal structures of cells if they're large and if they have those structures much more cleanly whereas under a different type of microscopy the whole cell may appear gray on a